because it's a big organization. Right. You've got to be born again. Amen. God does something to your spirit and your soul. Thank God and He even gives a body freedom through the salvation of the Lord. I'm glad for Him tonight. Thank God. I get so hungry sometimes to tell somebody about Jesus because He's my life. In Him we live and move and have our being. And if you don't have that, you need it. Everybody needs salvation. Thank God I saw those folks this morning. A bunch of them got under conviction here and went to the altar. If they didn't get it, it was because they didn't want it. I'll tell you now, because God was here, brother, and when you turn God away, you may not get another change like that. So I'm so glad. I remember 1948. That's way back before some of your time. I went to the church and I didn't want to go. My wife, she was done got saved and she was going to church. She said, honey, would you take me to Reservoir Hill tonight to see that brother Jerry Paddock, the old fella, used to be in Evansville, Indiana. He's dead now. But anyhow, I said, you're going to keep on to you run off of them old, old homeless preachers. I didn't know that she was going to run off with me. <laughs> but I tell you, got down there that night, and the people just, they must have saw something that I couldn't see because I didn't want to go to the altar. But I want to tell you, when that higher power touched me in the heart, I left them seats, brother, and I come and run into the altar. That was 1948, 61 years ago. Brother, and I want to tell you now, I. I'm not ready to give it up. Amen. And I'm not going to say yet. Because that sounds bad. The old colored lady, somebody said, I ain't no shit turning back yet. She said, what do you mean you expected to turn back? Brother, I'm not ready to turn back. Amen. And I ain't going to say that word yet. 